Let's look at another really important theorem. Let's say we've got an element of order n in a group, and then we're going to pick any other number, any other positive integer. What I can do is I can calculate the GCD of the order of that element and the integer, and then the subgroup generated by a to that power k is the same as the subgroup generated by a to that GCD. And then further, the order of that a to the k is the order of a divided by that GCD. Now, that seems far more abstract than what it really is. Let's say, in a group, there's an element a, and the order of a is 28. Let's consider the subgroup generated by a to the eighth. What this says we can do is we can calculate the GCD of that order, 28, and 8, which is 4. So that says the subgroup generated by a to the 8th is the same as the subgroup generated by a to the 4th. And by bringing it down to kind of as low as possible by using that GCD, we can then say, well, this is going to have to be e a to the fourth, a to the eighth, a to the twelfth, a to the sixteenth, a to the twentieth, a to the twenty-fourth, and that's it because a to the twenty-eighth would be back to the identity. Further notice how many elements there are in that group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The order of a to the eighth is the order of a, 28, over that GCD, 4, 7. The order of a to the eighth was 7, just like we saw there. Okay, let's try another one. What about a to the ninth? And I want to look at the subgroup generated by that. Well, if I say g, that would be the GCD, the greatest common divisor, of 28 and 9, which is 1. So, the subgroup generated by a to the 9th is the same as the subgroup generated by a. I'm not going to list out all the 28 elements there, but I know there have to be 28 elements because the order of a to the 9th is equal to the order of a, 28, divided by that least co greatest common divisor, 1, the order is 28. One more, if I were to look at the subgroup generated by a to the 21st, in this case, my GCD of 28 and 21 is 7, so, this is the same as the subgroup generated by a to the 7th. There's only four elements because that means the order is the order of a, 28, over that 7. So, it would be e, a to the 7th, a to the 14th, and a to the 21st. Again, there are a few really important consequences to this theorem. Probably the most important one is that because of this division here, because the order of a to the k is n over g, what can we can say is that in a finite cyclic, has to be cyclic, group, the order of any element divides the order of the group.
because any element in a cyclic group can be written as the generator to some power. That power is the order of the group. Then, doing this whole GCD thing, we know the order of any element can be written as the order of the group divided by some GCD. Therefore, it has to divide into the order of the group.